Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Native Forest Nursery. My name is Chad. I'm the operations manager here. Uh, this morning, we want to talk to you about root pruning in our bare root seedlings. I call this video, A Little Stress is a Good Thing, Take Two. Take one was last week when we talked about root pruning in our air pruning container line. But today, we're out here in the field in our seedling crop. Um, we're in the white oak beds this morning, and we grow about 500 to 600,000 white oak annually. That's probably about 2 million uh, seedlings from nuts or acorns that are tap-rooted that we need to root prune. And so with the tap-rooted species, um, the focus is to grow down to get water. Here at the nursery, we've got irrigation. You can see the pipes over here. Um, so water's not really a limiting factor. And what we're trying to do is to pack a bunch of fibrous roots on our seedlings instead of having all that energy going towards a tap root that goes deep. And so to get started today, I want to show you the difference here. I went ahead and dug this handful of seedlings out of the bed, just kind of at random. And you can see if I go from the root collar to the tip of the root, you know, somewhere around 12 inches. Yeah, you know, planting hole is only 10 inches long. So that's another reason to root prune is to make sure that when a tree planter puts these seedlings in the holes that he's not having to bend this root over to make it fit and he's also not having to cut it off um, and end up with a root that's too short. So again this is not pruned and then we've got some here that have been pruned and you can see there's quite a difference there um, without even having to have a tape measure. But if I get my tape measure out on these from the root collar, we're right in there around eight inches, which is perfect. And so again, the object here is to break the taproot dominance. You can see where it was cut, right there at the tip of my finger. And to take all the energy that the plant's making from its leaves and force root growth on these lateral roots here. Because that's what's gonna end up in the planting hole is that portion of the root. And so the more roots we can pack on there, the more successful our customers are gonna be with their planting projects. And so um, this is a, a, a big deal. This is a, a fairly sizable investment because we've got hundreds of beds out here. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to undercut one bed. It takes two men, uh, a man in the tractor and a man behind, making sure that the, the depth of the roots is right. And, and it's a lot of work, um, but we believe in it. We believe it's the right thing to do. We see the results and the root systems that we get on our seedlings. So real quickly, we'll just uh, step over here for a second and take a look at our root printing machine. And so this machine goes under the bed and the blade that you can see down here is sharpened on, on this side and they set the depth of the blade and the tractor drives through the field about 0.2 miles per hour and it's PTO driven so the blade oscillates back and forth to help with the cutting process. Um, you know, it's not very sophisticated, but it's very effective in giving us a really good seedling. So we'd like to thank you for tuning in today. Goodbye.